Alright you guys, got another video here for you. I'm going to show you how to safely erase all the data on an SSD drive. So you can resell that drive or you can use it for something else and this will wipe all the data on that drive. So first off we're going to create our bootable USB flash drive. We're going to be using Parted Magic for this one. And we're also going to be using a tool called Universal USB Installer. Now this is a great tool for creating uh, USB flash drives and especially Linux types drives as well. So let's take a look at the a way of doing this. Now if you do want to use Party Magic, you're going to need to purchase it because it's not free anymore but it's an awesome tool and it has loads of good features on it as you can see here. So these are some of the features you can do here. Now hit the downloads button and you'll see purchase now and it's $9. Now I'm not affiliated with Party Magic in any way, shape or form. It's just that uh, if you want to use this, you're going to need to purchase it and you can get it from here. Now, once we've got that, what we're going to do is open up Universal USB Installer. I will put the links in the description. I've got my ISO image on my desktop. Click yes to the user account control. I agree. Now you can see a blank screen here. And the reason why is because we need to select what distro we want. Now again, as I said, if you want to do Party Magic, you can't use this method uh, to download because it won't download it because it's not free. So you want to come down to where it says Party Magic, okay, which is here. You'll see here, the download link is here, but if you had any other ISO uh, that you wanted to download, you could use the download link here to download your ISO. But here we haven't got that option, so what we're going to do is point to our ISO, and you can see it on my desktop, click open, and it should go green, and that means you've got a good ISO. Now what we need to do now is select our USB flash drive, and you can see I'm using a 29 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte flash drive uh, here, and also we're gonna format this, and it will format in this FAT32. Put the tick in there and click create. And if there is any data on that USB flash drive that you wanted to save, I'd advise you to back that up first because otherwise it's going to be wiped. So I'm going to click yes here to continue. If you want to abort, you can click no. Say yes. And this will then start to create your USB flash drive so we can then boot to that device. Now we're on a Windows 10 machine and this is a UEFI uh, type machine. And as you can see, that is now complete. So I'm going to click close here. And if we take a look at our drive now, you will see all the contents are in there, just like so. Now to wipe your SSD, which we've got here, I'll show you it here. To wipe this drive safely, so all the data is then gone, so no one can recover that data, we're going to be using Parted Magic. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that now. So we're going to boot to our USB flash drive that we just created, and then we're going to use Party Magic to wipe all that data off the drive securely. Okay, so no one will be able to recover that uh, data off that drive. Now, if you're obviously selling the drive, this is essential, or if you're throwing a computer away and it's got a solid state drive in, this is also essential to make sure that no one can recover data from that drive uh, and uh, obviously clone your identity. So anyway, we're going to boot to this device. So I'm going to reshut this computer down and get the camera out, and then we're going to boot to our USB flash drive to boot to Parted Magic. So I'm going to push F11 to change the boot menu, and then select my USB flash drive and boot to that device. Sorry about the poor quality, best I could do there. Then we're going to hit default settings and let that boot up. So it'll take a while to load up. Once it's loaded up, all you need to do here is select the language. You can select any language, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna select the US, that'll do. Click OK here. Now what we need to do here is move over to where it says Erase. Click on Erase Disk. And now we can click on ATA Secure Erase. And if you hover over here, you'll see little bubbles pop up but we're going to click on this one and here you can see we've got a bit of a problem uh, the drive is frozen and this is quite normal um, so we need to put the drive to sleep and then 
uh, we can then uh, wipe that drive. So what we're going to do is hit sleep here and this will then shut down the system and then boot it back up. Now you can see the drive is not frozen. Select the drive that you want to select to uh, wipe. Now be careful here that you select the right drive otherwise you're going to end up losing all your data. So we're just going to put the tick in the drive that we want to wipe and this is the SSD as you can see here. Now this is great for SSDs because it doesn't put a lot of wear and tear on the drive. You can see secure race overwrites hard drives, user data, areas with binary uh, and stuff like that. And you can see it's designed for SSD as well. So we're going to do the secure race. And there's also an enhanced uh, area here as well, but we're just going to stick with the secure. Now once you've got this done, you can put your password in if you have a password on that account and then you can just uh, put it, type it in that little box there, but we don't have a password on here, and I'm gonna push continue. Now once we push continue, it'll confirm that that's what we wanna do with that drive. Gives us the information here, we'll put a tick in, I allow this utility to erase the drive, and then all you need to do here is start the erase. Now this doesn't take very long, and this is essential because obviously you don't want to put a lot of wear and tear onto an SSD drive because it's just going to uh, render that uh, SSD useless at the end because they only have a limited amount of reads and writes. So you can see here, this is actual real time. I didn't freeze the actual uh, computer at all. That's how long it takes. Then you get a log file here. Now if you want to back this log file up, you can do. You can compress it and save it as a zip file if you want, or you can open it up and have a look at it if that's what you want to do, but that's how you can back it up here. Just navigate to the drive that you got plugged in where you want to store it. Now you can also view that log file as well by clicking on view log, and it will give you all the information here. And this will just give you all the information of what's actually happened, how long it took, what date it was and stuff like that. But pretty much uh, the drive is now securely erased. Uh, and you can just move on to the next step. Just click OK here and you're good to go. Okay, so once we've booted back to the desktop after we've uh, wiped our system, if we click on this here, you'll see the drive is now missing and that's because we've wiped it. And what we can do is go to disk management and I'm gonna right click on the start button here and go to our disk management. This will then open up this box and it will say initialize disk, disk two, and you can choose what you want to do, MBR, or GPT. We're going to pick GPT, click OK, but as you can see there's unallocated space here now and that pretty much means you're ready to either install Windows again on that drive or you can do whatever you like, use it as a storage drive or put it into another, uh, another computer, another laptop or whatever you want to do, put it into an enclosure or sell it or get rid of it, whatever you want to do, it's safe to go now because there'll be no data on there. And that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you can securely wipe your SSD drive uh, without damaging the drive at all using parted, uh, parted magic. Anyway, I just wanted to give a really big shout out to someone. It's called Joe from EFC Graphics. And uh, this is his Twitter feed here. Uh, he done all my banners for all my website, as you can see here for my uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and also my YouTube channel. Obviously, I did this bit here, my logo, but he'd done all the actual banners and stuff, which was really nice of him. And uh, if you want to check him out, pop over here to his Twitter account and give him a little follow, just like this, like I'm going to do, and uh, follow his account. And it, he'd done a really nice job, and it was uh, really nice of him to do that. Now, maybe you've got some uh, stuff that you want to do. Uh, maybe you've got some uh, sites that you want him to do. Have a chat with him and see what he can offer you. Uh, but he does a pretty good service. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up for now. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any video requests or anything like that, then obviously uh, pop over to the forums and join up over there. It's free to join. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, thanks again for your continued support. And thanks to Joe for sorting me out with those banners. A really awesome job, mate. Anyway, bye for now, and I shall see you again in the next video.